Hello, hi. Today we're going to talk about how I get into running a Dungeons of the Mad Mage game. And then, the video afterwards, uh, will be the modules I use for said Dungeon of the Mad Mage game. So, this story starts about maybe a year ago. I was part of a Dungeon of the Mad Mage game myself. Now, this game, it was a very good game. I enjoyed some of the people I was with. However, um, I was just looking for a game. And I didn't realise about the massive overarching story that was going on here. I didn't know a thing and I was way out of my depth. Now, uh, the DM, you know, he was just looking for someone to fill that role really quickly. So I didn't get much of an onboarding. And, you know, I'm not going to hold that against him in any way, shape or form. He was simply looking to play as I've been there before. So I must have played about maybe 10 sessions or so. And then I was like, yo, guys, this isn't for me. There was a lot going on. We didn't finish like two in the morning on a Monday. So like, you know, there'd be times where I could make it for an hour, times I could make it for the whole session, times I'd be midway through a session. It wasn't for me. So I left. I soon found another game, a game that was a Princes of the Apocalypse game. Now, I, it was level, starting brand new, level one. I didn't know these people. These people knew each other, but like, you know, they needed some others. And I'm like, yeah, I'll do it. Let's go. We played four sessions. Now, the people there were really good. Um, I enjoyed them, but we played four sessions and we had to call it because, um, Module wasn't written too good, was the DM's wording. Um, I, I'll, 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 I'll go weird that one there. I've, I've looked at it myself. I actually need to get it to play it. But yeah, so he was like, I'm going to move this module. He moved us to Dungeon of the Mad Mage. And for me, it was like, ah, I, I left the Dungeon of the Mad Mage game and I'm back in one. Nice. But we're starting from the beginning, so I had an idea what was going on. Well, we got about 10 sessions in. And the DM was like, hey, uh, I need to do some re-evaluations um, because my work and such. And I was like, yeah, yeah, cool. Sure, no bother. I too was going through some stuff and then, I, you know, went through some stuff and then went on holiday. And he was, you know, he helped a lot with all that stuff. It was really great. Can't, you know, thank you, Chuck. Great guy, Chuck. Um, I went on holiday and I was talking like, yo, what's going on? What's going on here? What are we going to do? And it ended up, he was like, yo, um, I'm going to have to, you know, just call it, unfortunately. Um, but everyone still wants to play it. And I was like, yeah, I'll I'll take over then. That was the second dumbest decision I've made in my life to date. But I I took over the game and I was like, right, um, I know they do some prep work. So we were driving back from London to Glasgow and we were stopping in at a ton of little towns and cities and I was jumping at comic book stores like, do you have Waterdeep Dungeon of the Mad Mage, please? Um, I ended up having to get it in Glasgow the day after we came back, but from there, uh, I just started the prep work and I, I I was doing Descent into Avernus at the same time so I was like I know what I'm doing now. Where Descent into Avernus has a story and story beats, Dungeon of the Mad Mage, this is here, this is here, this is here, this is here. Yeah there's a bunch of tiny little stories and I'm like Arr. I'm gonna struggle with this but I, I knew of what they call the game show variant and I was like oh, I'll do that. I'll, I'll, do, I'll do a winged riff on that, which is what the DM was going to do with us, but he was going to introduce it really slowly, but I was like, we're, we're starting from the beginning, I'm reintroducing this shit. From there, um, I've had a lot of people leave. Uh, there's been people leave for personal reasons in regards to it, people who could no longer make it due to timing, people who ended up getting sick and not coming back. Um, this has definitely been an absolute roar of like, you know, revolving door of people coming in and out. And the only person left from the original game the original Prince of the Apocalypse game is still going. Her character. Well, her and myself, obviously, but like, you know, I ain't playing no more. So, you know, us to her left, uh, King, he was one of my first DMs. I'd said to him, you know, do you want to join us? And he was like, well, I'm not doing it now. So yeah, I'll probably be like five minutes late. And I'm like, can you make it every week? To which he said, probably about five minutes late. But yeah, he's been there since session one. Uh, there's also Elijah Eroth. Um, He's also been there since session one. I said to him, do you want to join? And he was like, yeah, sure, why not? I'll see what it's like. And he's just stuck around since. <laughs> yeah, my prep work is a little bit higher for this, but I can bulk that prep work, which is really good. Um, in turn, that leaves me with the .mm folder and all of its eccentrics. So, right here we have important places on the Waterdeep map. In here, this is everyone's gold. Um, I don't know if a lot of gold is kept out of the dungeon because people will forget to pick it up. So everyone wear notes. This is my notebook. Here are the maps. This crap map wrong, Slither's one. Schools of magic, because I'll forget those. Oh, on the back. Madness, because I'll forget that. Here are two shops. One is a 
goblin shop where you will be gouged and the other one is a top shop. King's favourite spells that I keep forgetting. Some personal quests that we'll put skip by. All of the secrets, which I printed out before getting the cards, and the cards don't fit in here, so... The second part of maps, because they are actually really heavy. And then Tilgwin's personal quest. And then player challenges, which were part of the Mad Mage game show, before the Mad Mage stopped doing the game show, to cement the fact that he is fucking mad. Yeah, uh, next video I'm going to go over my modules and also doing Foundry. So, until then guys, uh, this has been a kind of short one. If you wish to know anything, comment it down below. Just say in the comments, why did you do this? Why are you doing that? How did you do this? Hey, I'll answer. Let's call this a continuous Q&A. <laughs> uh, until then guys.